Welcome, Cadet, to the ASCII Space Academy. I am Nibnub. I've been programmed to teach cadets how to use the ASCII Sphere 360 PlayStation controller. I recommend choosing basic training if this is your first time using the ASCII Sphere 360. Use the D-pad to highlight one of the choices, then press start to initiate selection. I'm sorry but I cannot teach you this course until you pass basic training. This course will teach you the more advanced techniques that demonstrate why the Sphere 360 is the best all-around 3D controller. Regulations won't allow you to access this mission until you've completed both your basic and advanced training. You did excellent during training. Let's see how you do here. Good luck. You are now in Sector 375-95, secure for cadet training. It is here where I'm going to train you to use your ASCII Sphere 360. Fly through these circular constructs successfully to pass the cadet flight program. Let's start by moving forward, which will initiate your thrusters. Place your thumb on the triple arches icon located on the back of the sphere your index finger on the double arches located on the top, and your middle finger on the two dots found on the front. Increase acceleration by pushing forward like this. Good job. Well done. Great. Let's continue. Input incorrect. Try again. Not quite. Give it another go. Let's try again. I'm sorry, I must take control of the vessel to restart the exercise. Input incorrect. I will reset the training course. I suggest you complete the training. Follow my lead. I think you should slow down so you may meet your next objective. Stop at the next waypoint. Be sure to increase thrust. You do not need so much thrust. Mission briefing. The last time I waited this long my batteries ran out. The academy always gives me the slow ones. You may try again by pressing the start button and returning to the main menu. We must now decrease speed to meet our next waypoint at the flashing beacon. Increase acceleration by gently pulling back on the sphere like this. Now we must strafe left to meet our objectives. Pull the sphere directly to the left like this and to the right, like this. Rotation works like this. Now the other direction. To initiate a vertical strafe, pull the sphere up like this. To strafe downwards, push the sphere down like this. To move the nose up, rotate the sphere like this. Move the nose down like this. Bank left, like so. Now, right. Congratulations, cadet. You may now move on to the advanced course, or test your skills here in the speed trials. Welcome to the advanced training course. You will be challenged by three circle construct patterns, each increasing in difficulty. Good luck. Begin course 1. Start course 2. Begin course 3. Very nice, cadet. You are now ready for the free flight simulation. The focus of this mission is to test your skills under hazardous conditions. You must fly through the asteroid fields safely for at least three minutes. If you take too much damage, I will assume control of the ship and abort the mission. Commencing mission. Good luck. Warning, warning, incoming missiles. Weapons armed. Intercept missiles with your blasters using the X button. Mission complete. Heading back to base. Congratulations, cadet. You have completed your flight test and have been promoted to the rank of wingman. Flight commander. You have sustained too much damage. Aborting mission. Congratulations. Now you are ready to take on any challenges PlayStation Soul has to offer with your ASCII Sphere 360. Thanks for playing.